the one minute manager. We go around and watch and look for what their employees do well and encourage them in that. Good job, way to go, thanks for your effort. And that keeps them pumped up, keeps them, hey, they do notice, it's worth the effort. So we, we try to do that and that keeps people energized and motivated to, to do their best. And we've, got, we've been blessed with wonderful employees, they're very dedicated. It took me a long time to learn this, uh, to delegate authority to people. It, it makes them uh, feel more involved and they actually, the employees actually do a better job when, when uh, the decisions, that they're empowered to make decisions. It's a hard thing, to uh, a fine line to walk. I mean, uh, m most people that start businesses are, are want to be hands-on and want to control everything that's going on. And y you need to empower them to do more. And uh, they take better, more pride in their work and. Uh, they actually come up with ideas. Um, we uh, started a uh, staff meeting every Monday morning. We get together, there's uh, five of us that get together and we sit around one of these tables and, and uh, talk about what's gone on in the previous week, what's coming up, who's got ideas, what. And uh, I have found, personally, I have found that I don't have all the ideas, you know, and uh, I've adopted a lot of ideas for my employees. So that, 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 that took me a long time to figure out. If they want to try to make something, they they can make it. Most of the sandwiches and that we make over here have been ideas from uh, from store girls and and people and over here that work over here. Hey, why throw this together? Throw that together, and and uh, you know it comes out good. And so there is a lot to be said for empowering your employees to make decisions. Mm -hmm.